camera rolling. One, two, three, action. All right, good day, viewers. God bless you. My name is Apostle Joe Peter Crady. I'm starting the series yesterday talking about me and my Holy Ghost. Today we're going to be taking it further and we trust God to help us as we approach the crescendo of the teaching this morning. It is my desire that after this series, you're going to have a very strong intimacy with the Holy Ghost. You're going to have a, a very strong fellowship, communion with the person of the Spirit of God. I'm going to be sharing my personal encounter towards the end of this series and I trust God is going to bless you mightily. Last, yesterday, we started talking about who is the Holy Ghost. But today we're going to be looking at it. If you look, the Bible told us in the book of Revelation, a lot of names, a lot of name, a lot of name was accorded to the person of the Holy Ghost. But you must understand, series of books have been written, series of handwritten articles and publications have been written on the Holy Ghost. But there's nobody who knows the Spirit of God more than Jesus Himself. And that's why I was speaking in the book of John 14, verse 16. It says, And I shall pray the Father, and I shall send you another comforter, and this comforter shall abide with you forever, even the Spirit of the world which the world cannot receive. He said, For the world knoweth they not. He said, But ye know him because he shall be and abide with you. This is John, John 14, verse 16 and 17 you can see now from that scriptures that the Holy Ghost is referred to as the comforter and one of his name comforter in the Greek means parakletos so let's just leave all of this out of this be the new person in Christ be the new believer coming to the face we wouldn't need all of this Greek word the basis and the emphasis of our teaching today is to communicate to you if you look at the book of Revelation chapter 3 the Bible told us about the seventh spirit of God the seventh spirit of God is also another name of the Holy Ghost you must understand the seventh spirit of God is explaining the person of the Holy Spirit that is to say the Holy Ghost is one spirit but have a multi facet operation dimension of operation the Holy Ghost is one but operate as seven in one spirit and those seven in one spirit is what we'll be looking into critically this morning by the grace of God and now the Bible told us in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 the seven spirit that was referred to in the book of Revelation chapter 3 in Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 and 2 the Bible says and they shall comfort a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of the root, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon it. That's the first, the first oppression of the Holy Ghost is as the Spirit of the Lord. After, after the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of the Lord, which is called the anointing. Jesus was speaking in the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel. So when the anointing comes, there is an enablement, a divine enablement to begin to reach out. Number two operation, same Spirit, the Holy Ghost, is also the Spirit of wisdom. This is what stands out as a believer. This is our advantage that the moment we have the Spirit of God residing on, on the inside of us, we become more wiser than the devil. There's something I love so much in the scripture. The Bible told us in first in first King chapter 4, first King chapter 4, verse 4, 4 chapter 4, 29 to 31. The Bible says, And Solomon was more wiser than all men in the east. I live in a clan in Nigeria that the eastern part is well known for business. But the Bible says there is a dimension of wisdom that entered into Solomon, that Solomon was far better than all the eastern community in time of business. You see, the wisdom of God makes you a wonder on the surface of the earth. It puts you in the very class of God where you begin to think and operate, you begin to legislate according to the order of heaven. You begin to uncode things according to the frequency of heaven. That's what this thing can do when the Holy Ghost comes into a man. That's how you need it as a new believer. You become so wise that so no, Daniel said I'm ten times better than my equal because something was functioning in the end. And the Bible says, you see, the wisdom of God was so much in Solomon that he could handle one thousand men. There are people today who are struggling with just one woman. Just one woman because they lack wisdom. To go further now, another thing is the wisdom. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of the Lord. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of God. See the seven spirit that the Bible was talking about. The Holy Ghost, number one, is the spirit of wisdom, it's the spirit of understanding, it's the spirit of knowledge, it's the spirit of counsel. When you have the Holy Ghost, then you can give people counsel according to the mind of God. And this is the very counsel that produces results. This is the very counsel that can that can give flavor, that can give Aroma to destiny. This is the cancer that can set men on the right track again. I want to encourage you that you need this seven spirit. This seven spirit, the very moment the Holy Ghost comes into you, you begin to operate this seven spirit. Like I said, the first one is 
the spirit of the Lord, which is the anointing. The second one talks about the spirit of wisdom, who puts in the class of God where you begin to operate. Another one is the spirit of understanding, where you begin to understand things without spending much time. The Bible says, he that lacketh understanding shall remain in the condition of the dead. So when a man lacks understanding, automatically the man is dead. And the Bible says, he that have it understanding shall find favor before men. You see, understanding brings favor. Understanding brings favor. Imagine the class. No lecturer likes a dull student. No lecturer. But when a lecturer sees a student who has a high level of understanding, comprehending the course and it is high tendency to begin to show such a student favor. Are you a student? You are struggling in understanding your courses. You need the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes, the spirit of understanding comes. The Holy Ghost is also the spirit of the fear of God. And the Bible says the fear of it says those that fear the Lord, the angel of the Lord incorporate around them Psalm 34. The fear of the Lord brings us into so much of God's blessing. I remember the story of a man of God who, who was supposed to visit a woman. He went to visit the member, and the member began to lock him to have fun to sleep with her. But the man of God was almost giving in. But then something struck up, which is the Holy Ghost, the dimension of the fear. And he said, No, I can't do this. I can't do this. He left. He was able to sneak himself out. On Sunday, he got to know that the woman has been HIV infected for so long. Imagine if he had fallen to that trap, he could have been infected. But thank God for the Holy Ghost on the inside who strengthened him and put the fear of God on the inside for him and he then fell to that trap. Beloved, as you are coming into the faith, so the very moment you receive the Spirit of God, this seven spirit becomes functional in your life. I'm going to put it on the old. By the grace of God, as we continue the series, you begin to learn more and more and more. Thank you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Shalom.